What is the most insidious way to kill a person? That is to create an accident. First, pour a small amount of the chemical into a beaker. Then pour a small spoonful of chemical powder. Mix well clockwise with a spoon. The resulting violet blue liquid is then poured into a conical mold. After the gel has cooled completely, the gel is taken out with tweezers and placed on a heavy, tempered glass. Then inject the special expansion agent into the colloid. Hold the stopwatch to time. Three seconds later the tempered glass instantly shattered. Arthur is a top killer who is well versed in physics and chemistry. He can make the target die in an accident without knowing it. The domineering gangster Dean was Arthur's target. Arthur already knew Dean's whereabouts beforehand. Although he had many bodyguards around him every time he went out. But he had a unique hobby. Dean would swim. Dean would swim a hundred meters above the ground. Arthur seized the opportunity. First, he disguised himself as a client to get close to the property manager. Then, while the manager was on the phone, he secretly photographed the front and back of the key. The next day, Arthur sneaks into the building disguised as a repairman. He used the key he had made in advance to open the door to Dean's downstairs room. Then he opened his backpack. He took out a black steel pipe and fixed it to the ceiling. Then he took out the suction cups and attached them to the tempered glass. He locks the hooks. Tie the imported coin, tie it to the crank wheel, tighten it by turning it around. He then used a sharp knife to remove the sealant from the glass. Arthur grabbed the suction cup and pushed it hard. He successfully opened the tempered glass. Arthur takes off his jacket and puts on his professional equipment. He inserted rivets into the gap on the outside of the wall glass. With his two hands working together, step by step, he climbs under the pool on the top floor. Arthur pulls out a powerful suction cup and attaches it to the bottom of the pool. He used his amazing arm strength to cross over to the middle of the pool. Then he took out the electric drill and drilled a hole in the glass and inserted the conical rubber inside. When Dean undressed and jumped into the water, Arthur immediately injected the expansion agent and this scene happened to be seen by Dean in the water. At this moment Dean thought he was dreaming. Before he could react, the glass in the pool shattered instantly. Arthur quickly let go of the suction cup and then threw himself against the wall. He slid down the glass quickly then successfully returned to the room inside. Dean was struggling for his life in the water. The two men stood by and watched their boss fall down the stairs. After the mission was complete, Arthur quickly changed into his repairman clothes and wandered out of the building. In order to rescue his kidnapped girlfriend, Arthur was alone in a maritime prison. His second assassination target is here. The man uses a beaker to roll the miniature bomb into thin slices and then put the gum on top. He cuts off the excess and puts it back in the cardboard box. Then he takes out a cigarette and tucks the fuse inside. Arthur marks the cigarette with a water pen. He squeezes out half a bottle of no shark cream and wraps it in a box of hair wax. He takes out his girlfriend's eyebrow pencil and draws a heavy-duty wanted man tattoo on the cheekbones of his face. After he forges his papers, he deliberately provoked the police on the street. The cops forced Arthur down and pinned him down. They took out his it and looked at it and compared the tattoos on his face. They found that this man was a fugitive, and so Arthur managed to infiltrate the prison at sea. His disguised weapons came in with him, and his next mission was to kill a notorious gangster named Jack. Arthur first Saturday on the bench, and asked the old man about Jack's identity and background. Because Jack was too arrogant in his daily life, many people in the prison do not like him. But Jack is surrounded by heavyweight bodyguards, so they have not been able to assassinate the success. So it was not possible to fight directly. Arthur can only find another way. One day Jack was working out, and none of his bodyguards were with him. The inmates around him started to get excited. Suddenly one of the prisoners pulled off his fake arm and rushed towards Jack. This scene was seen by Arthur. He quickly threw a knife to save Jack's life. This is the act of Arthur won Jack's trust. Jack invited Arthur to have dinner with him. He immediately agreed to such a good opportunity. Arthur came down to Jack's place. It was full of wine made by various poisonous animals. Arthur took advantage of Jack's inattention. He grabbed a wooden stick and strangled him. Then he covered his mouth and nose with a cotton cloth until Jack stopped breathing. The bodyguards on the other side of the room were just playing cards. They completely forgot about Jack inside. To make it look like Jack died in an accident, Arthur mixed all the ingredients on the table and poured them into Jack's mouth. Then Arthur calmly walked out of the room and told the bodyguards to keep quiet. Don't disturb Jack's prayer. But the bodyguards did not know that they had been trapped by Arthur. At this point Arthur removed the gum and stuffed it into a crack in the wall. He took out the fuse hidden in the cigarette and inserted it into the middle of the gum. After setting the fuse on fire, he swallowed the locator and takes off his clothes. He applied shark repellent cream all over his body. With a loud bang, he managed to blow the wall open 
Then Arthur went through the hole. He jumped into the sea before the guards arrived. His men then followed the locator and soon picked up Arthur. With the second target complete, about to start the assassination of the third, the target was an arms dealer. The base is surrounded by the sea on all sides, above the fortress and below the aircraft carrier. The surrounding area is heavily guarded, and small cars cannot enter. The only means of transportation is a helicopter. Arthur looked up information on the internet. He soon found a breakthrough. The top killer set up a sniper rifle and shot the bodyguard in the ass. Arthur quickly ducked into the helicopter while he was being rescued. He made it to the secret base and found Finch, the target of the assassination. In order to save his girlfriend, Arthur gave up the assassination mission. He asked Finch for cooperation because Arthur knew that even if he killed Finch, his girlfriend and he would be his boss's next target. So they made a deal to create a fake death accident. Arthur pretends to blow Finch up with a bomb first. And Arthur met him underwater in advance. After they swam out of the water, Arthur called his boss and lied about Finch's death. But his boss Steve did not believe the news. So he sent his men to retrieve Finch's body. Arthur was killed in the process. Arthur saw this coming. He put a grenade on the door handle. He set up his machine gun and pulled the cord. He waits for the other guy to come and hang on to the white line. The machine gun will start firing automatically. The opponent could not resist to dodge the bullets. When one of the men opened the steel door, the rope pulled the oxygen cylinder. The iron bar on the door handle fell, impacted on the ground and produced sparks. An explosion occurred, then a second, the third one. The surveillance screen went black. This almost made Steve angry. At this point, Arthur got on the submarine. He made his way to Steve's boat, but his girlfriend accidentally took a bullet in the resistance. Arthur heard this and drove frantically upwards. Finally he found his girlfriend in the control room. They hugged each other for a long time, but he found that his girlfriend Sarah was seriously injured and the ship is equipped with a time bomb. Only three minutes left. To keep Sarah alive, Arthur put her in the lifeboat and pressed the button. Then he grabbed his gun and jumped into the sea. The bullets hit the oil drums directly and caused an explosion. Finally Arthur and Steve struggled with each other. Arthur seized the opportunity to grab the chain. He wrapped the chain around Steve's body. The boss said that even if Arthur could escape, he couldn't swim very far. Arthur said he wouldn't swim away. Only five seconds left. Arthur ran towards the inside of the yacht as fast as he could. Then a lifeboat emerged from the water. Sarah survived, but the ship was blown up into oblivion. She was eventually rescued ashore. A large police force was quickly rushed to the scene. After several hours of salvaging, only a piece of the ship's wreckage was found. It was confirmed that no one inside the ship survived. A few years later, Sarah returned to her hometown to resume teaching and education. But then she turned her head and saw her boyfriend Arthur. She smiled and was happy. Arthur survived because the ship was equipped with a separate fixed cabin and there was enough air inside to breathe. No ordinary explosion would have harmed him. The video was eventually discovered by Finch Surveillance. Finch chose to delete the video for the sake of their previous experience. He chose to delete the video. Arthur disappeared from the world. He and his girlfriend lived a sweet life together.